Hello, everyone. In September, the college hosted a two-day symposium on quality improvement, or QI, in family medicine. We had thought-provoking discussions with leaders and stakeholders from across Canada that identified challenges and opportunities in this area. In this blog, I'll share a few highlights from the meeting and the next steps the college is taking to advance QI. At the symposium, there was a consensus that QI is a core activity for family physicians in everyday practice. The challenge we heard on this front is that more support and resources are needed to help family physicians and family practice teams engage in QI. Participants also told us they view the data collected from electronic medical records as a rich source of information for guiding QI. At the same time, they said that these data need to be more accessible and they need appropriate resources to help them analyze those data. We also talked about family medicine training and noted that some introductory knowledge and basic QI skills should be part of residency training. The discussion included ways that this competency could be introduced most effectively to residents and teachers. One area that shows a lot of promise is the development of practice facilitator programs for QI in several provinces, such as Alberta, British Columbia, and Quebec. At the symposium, we heard presentations on how these programs result in successful practice-level QI and in savings for the healthcare system. For the college, we have identified several next steps to pursue. We will increase our advocacy efforts for resources to support QI in family medicine and primary care, continue to advocate for appropriate access to EMR data for use in QI, collaborate with key stakeholders to develop a guide on incorporating QI and research into family medicine residency curricula, explore continuing professional development opportunities related to QI in daily practice. This is an exciting frontier in family medicine. If you have thoughts you'd like to share about advancing QI activities, please contact me through Twitter or email. This will be my last video blog for 2018. I want to use this opportunity to wish you all the very best for the holiday season and 2019.